All right, so today we're going to show you the Sailor Pro Gear 2 Series or Professional Gear 2. Um, just recently released by Sailor. It's a reintroduction of their Pro Gear series. This is the slim version. It also comes in a standard, which is a little bit fatter um, and wider. You can kind of see that. The main redesign that you catch right away is this um, anchor clip, which I don't, I don't care for the look of. It's kind of stamped in. Um, overall, I think it just cheapens the look of the pen. Um, but you might like it. I do like the raised uh, cap band here that just says, you know, Sailor Japan 1911 when the company was founded. And then another thing that I love about these pens in the redesign is there is a dome. I don't know if you can see it in the profile, but there's a little domed acrylic anchor. Um, the shots on my website at bestfountainpen.com actually show up a little bit better. You can see the close-ups are really clear on my website to see that, but it's um, basically just a detailed anchor that's inlaid in acrylic. It's beautiful. And um, another redesign of this 2 series, or the second edition of the professional gear, is that they elongated the barrel a little bit and um, tapered off the edges or gave a kind of squared off on both sides of the um, top and bottom of the fountain pen. You can see that I have a gold trim for the slim version and a silver trim or chrome trim for the standard version. Just like the 1911 that Sailor makes, they come in two different nibs. Well, obviously different sizes of nibs, but there's um, the standard version is a 21 karat gold, solid gold nib, and then the slim version is a 14 karat. I don't know if you can pick it up on the video or not, but these are two-tone nibs, meaning if you go with the silver or chrome trim, the base color is going to be rhodium plated or a silver color with a gold sort of um, ribbon around it to make it two-tone. And if you go with the gold trim, the base color will be gold with a rhodium ribbon around it. I do have some really flattering um, close-up photos of that on my website, too, if you'd like to take a look um, at those. In terms of how it writes, it is the same nib as a Sailor 1911, which I happen to love. If you've done any reading of my reviews, you'll know that. So um, it writes really well, which I'll show you in just a second. But I wanted to show you it does come with its own converter. And it comes with two, I already installed one, but it comes with two cartridges as well. And just to kind of show you how they write, let me grab, got some 90 gram paper from Claire Fontaine. I'll do a quick writing sample of both. So first we'll start with the standard 21 karat version. This is a medium. Okay, and then I'll show you the slim. Sorry, I kind of scratched that out rather quickly, but you can see um, a longer writing sample on my site where it took just a little bit more time. But that is the difference between a medium nib and the broad nib in terms of how they write. Super smooth nibs. I mean, Sailor has never let me down with their nibs. They're just amazing. Um, no flow issues, no skipping, no hard starting. Just beautiful, beautifully made nibs. Like I said, the only thing that I don't like about the design is this clip. So if you like that, you might like the new Pro Gear 2. Uh, check out the review on my website at bestfountainpen.com. Thanks for watching.